students uh, today we are going to discuss the construction of greenhouse basically uh, till now we, we have discussed various aspects uh, of greenhouse like the classification of greenhouse types of uh, classification based on various parameter then we have discussed about the heating cooling of the greenhouse and various parts we have covered today we are going to construction in construction uh, we will not discuss more uh, about the design uh, as per uh, we will focus on the what are the different materials required for construction of various types of greenhouse and in last we will discuss about the various type of gadget you are using in the greenhouse to measure the uh, microclimate parameter you know that the, for construction of greenhouse uh, already we have discussed in earlier classes also uh, there are three things are there structural materials cladding materials and gadget for uh, structural materials means suppose that by which uh, which are the materials you are using for constructing the greenhouse one part is the which type of materials and the, uh, in that also the selection of materials is very important uh, based on the which type of greenhouse we are constructing we select the greenhouse and then design of the greenhouse is there in uh, in lecture 7 uh, briefly we have discussed about the design of greenhouse right so in that also you have to uh, as already i have told in earlier classes also that the uh, structural engineers are working in the uh, in, in the design of uh, you can take the help of a structural engineers right uh, people from the civil background civil engineering background so basically uh, there are various types of loads are there so based on the and the uh, and then we need the plant physiologist and uh, um, uh, horticulturist also to know because uh, a structural engineer can design based on the strength but the you have to also think about the uh, uh, even though a, uh, a structural strength is good selection of material is good but what about the microclimate because because we are constructing the greenhouse for the uh, cultivation purpose so that is also very important that we should get the uh, suitable microclimate inside the greenhouse then the cladding materials already we discussed different type of cladding materials we have already discussed earlier also and then gadgets for uh, various type of gadgets you are using for suppose that for for heating for cooling for co2 for uh, relative humidity uh, maintaining or increasing or decreasing like that so for controlling the soil temperature so very types uh, for fertigation very types of gadgets you are using to uh, automate the uh, greenhouse operation already you have discussed in the classification of greenhouse uh, they are uh, based on the cost so uh, basically as i told today we will discuss about the various types of materials you are using in the construction of greenhouse so you know that the already we have discussed uh, in classification of greenhouse there are uh, three types of greenhouses there low cost you can say low cost means low technology very minimum technology you are no technology you are using and then in medium cost and medium technology and the high cost and height one by one uh, already we have discussed but briefly today we will touch these points already we have discussed uh, in detail so, so many times that in low cost there, there is no uh, gadgets you are using to controlling the your temp all the microclimate parameter right so basically passive cooling we are using and the locally available material you are using for the constructing then single layer film cladding material you, you, you are using and the even though you are using the depigation system that is manual and certainly because the microclimate is not uh, perfectly controlled and size and uh, size is different than the, your uh, conventional greenhouse so your yield will also less so yield varies between 100 to 200 ton per hectare for tomato data it is given and uh, and cost varies between rupees 300 to 500 square meter if you go to medium cost uh, it improves so basically if you compare that the uh, in environment canopy management and root management is important right and cultural measurement different type of cultural methods we are using so here you can see that the here again you are passive or active maybe sometime you use the fan pad system fan pad system and depending upon the requirement maybe with or without heating system is but in india normally as i told that in uh, um, uh, normally you, you do not use in in a specific case you can use maybe for some experiment purpose but commercially i have not maybe like i told that in in kashmir or in in some parts of india people are maybe using right and then then soil soil less means you know already that the which which is the growing media you're using and drip irrigation system normally use and then um, irrigation and fertigation is normally uh, conventionally if you see in a medium cost greenhouse in, in india you're not using automated uh, irrigation system you're using the normal drip irrigation system without automation automation of irrigation and second part is the automation of your fertigation because fertigation is different than your uh, irrigation right 
and certainly because it is better than you know, because cooling is better and uh, you're using uh, uh, maybe if you're using uh, uh, so uh, and size of the structure is different so normally in this case your yield will be higher than the, your uh, your uh, low cost greenhouse and in high tech you can say that the yield varies between uh, five uh, 100 ton to 750 already i have explained uh, sometime uh, back in uh, earlier classes that in australia as far i know that 1000 ton per hectare is reported right but here i've given the range 500 to 750 ton and the the, the price is very 1500 is very less it, it will be very high depending upon the uh, which type of automation uh, which type of gadgets you are using to uh, operate your uh, means the which are the various types of uh, system you are using to controlling your microclimate right and based on that your cost will be vary first uh, we'll discuss about the low cost greenhouse uh, uh, in low cost greenhouse uh, the structural materials already you have discussed in structural materials normally in in, in case of jharkhand you normally recommend that bamboo is very uh, uh, abundant in jharkhand and so you can use the bamboo material for column or beam or a truss part uh, for for uh, uh, for constructing your greenhouse wood is same purpose and in in some places where the uh, con in in some places people are using concrete pillars also okay people are also using the wood uh, okay, but the, you have to think about the because you have to uh, do the uh, you have to cut the tree. So about the environment, there are so many things are there. But commercially, people are using growing wood also, right? Tree also growing commercially, and the bamboo people are growing. And government of India is giving a lot of emphasis on uh, promoting the bamboo cultivation because it, it improves the income of the farmers. And and here the colliding metals, you can see that the. UV stabilized uh, film greenhouse used to create the microclimate, right? Apart from that, the shade net material used sometime inside or top. Already we discussed um, the two, two purposes there for shade net. Uh, basically, uh, normally used for uh, controlling your light and the uh, temperature, right? Light intensity inside the greenhouse so that you can make the uh, microclimate suitable. Apart from that, you use the insect proof net material uh, at the place where you have to create the ventilation part, right? And then profile and gripper used to fix the, your colliding material. And miscellaneous thing, uh, we need wire to uh, to to fasten the different components of the your greenhouse uh, uh, structural members, and then coal tars to uh, for preservation uh, because those parts of bamboo that is going inside the soil normally you give the uh, coating of the coal tar okay to uh, to preserve from decay or maybe termite like that and then pvc sometime you use the uh, you, you take the bamboo and put in the uh, pvc pipe so that the, uh, the decay and the, that uh, damage decay and you can say the decay from your various com various various regions will not happen like the termite region termite is one of the very common region in jharkhand right we have faced a lot of problem of termite in our fields and then waste plastic um, uh, material used to uh, to uh, to wrap the bottom of bamboo pole uh, with the waste plastic or sometimes maybe plastic mulch that is waste plastic mulch plastic mulch you're using for cultivation or some any plastic uh, waste material that you can wrap uh, uh, the, that part that is go going inside the soil second is the your uh, uh, your uh, medium cost greenhouse in medium cost greenhouse normally use the gi pipe right uh, okay for constructing your structure then gutter gutter you know that gutter is is to used to uh, drain out the rain water that is coming on the roof uh, gutter is given on the top of the greenhouse uh, uh, top means the uh, gutter is there so because the, when the, all the water that is collecting on the surface of that will pass through the your gutter sometimes normally people are using connecting the uh, you are nowadays people are using the greenhouse for, for rainwater harvesting also uh, people are trying to integrate the rainwater uh, water harvested from the rain greenhouse surface for cultivation purpose right that is very interesting and gi cable people use to uh, support the shade net or illuminate if you are using inside the greenhouse okay gi cable used to uh, use in constructing the greenhouse apart from that already we have discussed that the here normally in the conventional greenhouse you use the single layer but the in, in, already we have discussed in earlier classes they are the uh, multi-layer three layer five layer greenhouse and each layer has its function already we have discussed earlier so you are using cladding material so so that the uh, suitable microclimate can can be can be achieved inside the greenhouse apart from that the different type of set net people are using uh, mainly uh, already i told for reducing the light and to making Basically, if you can say that the to make the microclimate suitable inside the, especially during summer, it is the major challenge. And then insect-proof net normally used to um, 
so that insect should not go inside the your structure then profile gripper to fasten the your cladding material apart from that uh, already we have discussed that various types of cooling uh, gadgets you are using cooling system you are using in that the fan pad uh, is the very common one so you know that the fan pad is used for uh, the mainly two purposes there to reduce the temperature during summer and because uh, due to evaporation of water the water vapor that is going in the air your rh is also engaged increase inside fogger you are also using to reduce the your temperature and uh, it, it normally used to uh, basically uh, decrease the temperature that it works on the evaporative cooling and because uh, and apart from the because it decreases the temperature but your rh also increases inside the greenhouse and mister is also basically used to control the in um, all the fogers are used on top right but misters are used in the uh, lower height and so uh, to uh, to create the suitable microclimate within the canopy of the plant that is normally used apart from that nuts and bolts are used to fasten the structural materials of the greenhouse and then thermal screen already we have discussed that thermal screen is the normally people uh, this is the best way because that will protect that that will that, that will not allow the your far infrared to go outside the greenhouse so that the in evening or in day time also uh, the inside temperature will be maintained okay and the on top because light is coming so that will reduce your light so it is two purpose reducing the light intensity and uh, 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 and not allowing the far infrared to go outside the greenhouse same way gi pipe gutter gi cable already is discussed for the year same thing uh, used in high cost greenhouse apart from that same thing like the uh, multi layer uv stabilized polyfilm use polycarbonate sheet glass already we have discussed uh, in uh, various types of materials you are using so you can refer to those classes and the different type of segnet materials because you know that segnet has um, mainly two purpose you can say that the, it, it reduces the light intensity and, be, and based on the color your uh, um, uh, spectrum will also change right because you know that at light at come at any place uh, at, at any surface depending upon your color and in construction materials uh, how it is constructed porosity so many factors are there so your uh, spectrum because based on color your uh, the light that is going inside the your set net will change okay so a spectrum is very important in case of set net light is also important but the spectrum part you have to take then insect proof net already you discussed then uh, floor covering sometime used to uh, prevent from fungal development or maybe weed in some green house people are using the weed mat like that okay covering and thermal skin already we have discussed exhaust fan uh, fogger mister already you use and sometime use exhaust fan for like in in active uh, active you can say active uh, uh, ventilation right um, in ventilation we have discussed this is natural ventilation and force ventilation so for, for force ventilation you can use the your exhaust fan normally you have seen in the houses also people are using exhaust fan to pull out the uh, hot air from the inside the uh, house or maybe in case of greenhouse we are pulling out the because in, this, in natural case it, it depends upon your wind speed and the gradient that is the created due to temperature difference okay so to make it more effective people are using the exhaust fan uh, can use the exhaust fan also okay and apart from that the roof evaporative cooling and the paint people are using on the top like the calcium hydroxide and segnet you are using at different locations so in cooling lecture already in detail we have discussed about these things apart from that uh, gadgets for controlling uh, uh, controlling the environment control means the heating part uh, already we have discussed in detail that it, various types of uh, unit heaters are there basic purpose is to how to increase the uh, make the uh, uh, increase the temperature inside so a uh, unit is normally used for the you can say the a small greenhouse and the central heat heating system that is based on your hot water or maybe a steam type uh, so based on that the uh, based on uh, our size of greenhouse and and cost cost economics there are so many factors are there so based on that we select the uh, our heating system and radiant heating system is also there so based on uh, our end use and the purpose you used to select the uh, various types of heating uh, instrument apart from that uh, you know that the light changes throughout the year right so normally uh, in india you are not using light right it depends people some flower growers are using maybe maybe using artificial light you know because the light throughout the uh, throughout the year throughout the is varies with the season in in, in various location is it also varies okay and the which part of light we are getting inside your greenhouse right which part of a spectrum uh, you know that par is in, in par also green red and different parts uh, different colors of light is that plant is getting so which part is more important so based on that and uh, various type of artificial light suppose that you want to do suppose that at some place light duration is 6 hour so you want to increase by 2 hour so in that case also you can use and the various type of uh, 
like high intensity discharge lamp so basically to supplement the light so and and each one we have discussed in detail in, in earlier classes also and excel fan because what happens in the greenhouse you can see that the at various location your mic maybe your r relative humidity and temperature is not uniform right so between the canopy of plant or at various location the uh, if you measure the temperature you will find that the temperature there is some temperature variation relative humidity variation right so to so uh, to use sometime excel fan so to accelerate the air movement inside the greenhouse there are two purpose to show that air velocity inside the your canopy will be higher and the microclimate will be uh, more or less uniform inside the uh, greenhouse so that the uh, plant plant performance can be good Apart from that, the for CO2 enrichment already we have discussed in earlier classes, like the CO2 cylinder for a small greenhouse people are using, or maybe CO2 generated. CO2 generated can be inside or outside. You know that the so you can use the based on our requirement. And then humidity uh, uh, relative for dehumidifier. Humidifier is there. Dehumidifier, you know, dehumidifier means to decrease the humidity and to uh, you know for humi uh, increase the humidity. Um, if the uh, uh, relative humidity inside the greenhouse is low, so you can use the like if even ever using evaporative cooling right like the origin fogger or, or fan pad cooling system in that case your rh increases but the decreasing is m more complicated and it is it it, it costs very uh, uh, you, you have to put the different gadget for that okay and and fogger is also used to uh, already we have discussed and nuts bolts you know then the growing media few here is this a lot of so many growing media is there basically uh, if you're not using the soil then different types of growing media you can use uh, i think in in, in your horticulture maybe in uh, in soil science you know that what is the property of soil why you're using the soil what are the disadvantage of soil right so basically physical chemical microbial property of desired quality so depending upon your crop your porosity and what your cation exchange capacity so various factors are there that affect the uh, so that the, your plant should get the suitable microclimate inside the root uh, water holding capacity right so, so various uh, factor are there so based on that and cost cost is also important okay but the artificial media is more suitable than the your uh, and the uh, so be, you can say the soilless media this is the soilless media so in soilless hydroponics is also there and uh, if you're using without soil so that that is a uh, soilless so various types of uh, some of you you are using vermicompost is very common one and cocoa peat you are using normally in in our uh, in our project we are using cocoa peat and the vermicompost okay each one has its advantage and disadvantage okay and the second part as i told that we will discuss some gadgets uh, that is used to to, to monitor the uh, microclimate inside the your greenhouse okay so first one is the temperature you know the temperature is one of the vital component uh, okay so in temperature also the, uh, the there is the maximum minimum thermometer is there so basically you are interested to do know in last 24 hour or during growing season what is the variation of uh, minimum temperature maximum temperature inside the greenhouse okay so for that the maximum minimum thermometer is there uh, this is not digital one digital thermometer is also there so this is very cost effective normally you are using here and here the in lower part mercury is there and upper part so uh, you can say two column is there in left column is the minimum measure the minimum temperature and right column is the measure the maximum temperature so below part is the your uh, mercury is there on top alcohol is uh, based on suppose that when the temperature is uh, increasing so due to expansion of alcohol this uh, your mercury part will move and uh, and in, and in left meaning minimum side your mercury will go lower side and there the steel index is there so that is on the top of your mercury so that will give the uh, your maximum temperature vice versa like that when temperature will decrease like that your when temperature will decrease so uh, like that we will able to measure the your maximum minimum during the last not last 24 hour normally use in last 24 hour but at any time within suppose that today now at the one o'clock you have measured the your maximum minimum uh, uh, from the last time so you can measure the what is the maximum minimum temperature after four hour right within the four hour what was the maximum temperature and minimum temperature right so you are able to measure and this is the surface temperature because in greenhouse what happens normally use the air temperature but air temperature is not the uh, right way so that gives the idea but the, if you measure the surface temperature of leaf because leaf temperature is more important than your air temperature so you'll find the, the variation between the your air temperature um, 
temperature difference between air and the surface temperature of leaf because that is more important because that that directly uh, related to your photosynthesis okay so in that case if you want to measure the you know now nowadays in covid time people are using infrared thermometer okay and basically what happens the because your surface uh, emit the infrared infrared light and that that is measured by the uh, 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 detector that is known as a thermophile and based on that it turns into the heat and that 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 will give the what is the surface temperature okay so uh, that this is turned to electricity and basically this is calibrated against the your uh, electricity is calibrated against the surface temperature and so based on that uh, you will be able to know what is the surface temperature any surface but here you are talking about the if you are talking about the greenhouse you are interested to know the what is food temperature or maybe what is leaf temperature of, of of any any crop okay then humidity you know that because relative humidity is very important all you discuss uh, they are very it affects your your transpiration okay your transpiration right and uh, all the biological activity so there are two way directly you can measure by hygrometer and second is the if you, you know what is dipole wave to wave temperature by using the dipole wave to thermometer using the psychometric chart you will able to know what is the uh, relative humidity of air here the in in in, in wet bulb the uh, your your weak uh, your thermometer is is covered with the uh, uh, covered with the cloth weak and and that that is saturated to air so basically what happens it is adiabatic evaporation of the so what happens because the, in air the depending upon your moisture uh, evaporation of uh, uh, evaporation of the what will happens from the your thermometer that that part is that is that is that is covered with the uh, uh, wet cloth and so based on that your temperature of the surface of the uh, cloth will decrease and that and that will show the temperature so in this way you are able to know what is wet bulb temperature and dry bulb temperature of the your air and based on that as i told by using the psychometric chart you will able to calculate and then hygrometer is there digital hygrometer it directly gives the relative humidity and lux meter uh, in um, um, it might be in your uh, uh, earlier classes in in some courses you have seen the lux meter basically it measure the uh, brightness of light okay but the uh, it measure the uh, brightness of light and normally uh, this is low cost normally use the this type of to measure basically but you know that this this measure the visible range between 382 to 78 78 that is the the i our seeing but this is because in photoactive radiation we are more interested about the 400 to 700 nanometer so this that not directly gives the exact value of the because uh, plant uh, do not see the uh, the our range right so plants see the your photoactive radiation range right so but the it gives the some idea about the how much brightness is inside the so basically the brightness you know that in light three components is there your intensity is there so it, it measure the intensity right and then uh, uh, here so uh, but the normally use the uh, power sensor power sensor is also available but that is very costly so using the power sensor you will able to know that that in photoactive radiation range what is the uh, how much light means in watt per meter square or how much number wave plane that is coming on the per square meter area okay so that is more important so uh, because we can there is conversion formula is also there by using the uh, lux meter value you can convert but that is uh, cumbersome okay so to get the rough idea about the oh, what is the brightness of light means how much light plant is um, inside the structure you, you are getting so used to um, normally uh, in some time suppose that you, you don't have the power uh, 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 sensor so you can use uh, uh, lux meter apart from that the you know that the air velocity inside the canopy is very important and various types of uh, 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 instruments used the two types are very common that is the vent types and the hot air in vent type uh, whenever because you know that the uh, in in open field there there is some air velocity is there but inside because the in, due to insect net and due to construction of types of greenhouse air velocity inside the uh, structure will be uh, less than the your outside okay and so it, it depends because throughout the throughout the year throughout the season throughout the day your velocity air velocity changes in outside so if you're changing outside inside will also change already told because due to because inside and on top the your cladding material is there so that reduces the air velocity inside the and to grow the suitable crop minimum air velocity required because that changes the uh, 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 microclimate uh, 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 it changes the humidity or like various factor so okay so in vent type the feed pond per meter means the uh, it is, is suitable for more higher speed and the hot air anemometer is there so basically here what you measure uh, 
based on your air velocity, your rotation will happen. So it will measure the RPM or how much RPM it is getting. And based on that, it is calibrated against the wind speed. Okay, wind speed calibrated against the RPM of your vane. And so you will be able to know the in various units is given in the uh, your anemometer. So you will be able to know uh, the what is the speed of uh, wind wind speed or air speed that you are getting inside outside. Okay, the structure. Same way in hot water wire anemometer is there so it is uh, already i told that for a smaller speed velocity you used to this type of hot uh, hot wire anemometer what happens because the here the the uh, uh, temperature sensing thermistor is there inside the this probe and when the air flow through that the temperature decreases and that is calibrated against the uh, uh, calibrated against the uh, uh, what happens the when air flow uh, because here inside this the temperature sensing thermistor is there and it is heated okay uh, and when it is when air passes the so temperature decreases and based on that you will able to uh, know uh, that is calibrated against your air velocity so you will able to know what is the wind speed okay as i told that for uh, lower uh, uh, here the range is given for lower uh, wind speed you use the hot uh, wire anemometer and this is a portable CO2 monitor. Already you know that the in in normal greenhouse you do not use the CO2 monitor. Okay, and not normal greenhouse. Suppose that you are using automation. Suppose that you are using the you are giving the artificial uh, artificial uh, you are supplementing the CO2 from outside. In that case, CO2 is required. Okay, because you have to know. You know that the, the, already we discussed low cost, medium cost, high cost. So in common in medium cost greenhouse also people use this gadget to know because you know in in, in evening time during wind suppose that you have closed the greenhouse in night due to respiration a lot of co2 is there so if, if it is a totally airtight uh, and so in morning hour uh, the co2 concentration so photosynthesis will high already you have discussed because co2 has a role in normally air, air has a 300 ppm but the it is given based on your other microclimate parameter if you increase the co2 photosynthesis will increase so this is the and here uh, how it briefly you can understand that how it operates so basically there are two types of there there is an infrared lamp one side is there and other is the uh, detector is there so what happens because co2 suppose that if the uh, you know that the each gas has each gas has the its own uh, based on you know that whenever the light come at any surface three things happen absorption reflection transmission so based on that suppose if co2 gas is there so in uh, infrared light you are passing and you know that each gas has the uh, at particular wavelength it will absorb that particular gas so when infrared you are passing the infrared light so uh, uh, you are uh, radiated by infrared lamp and that is detected and then based on that you will able to know what is the uh, we calibrate and, and based on that you will able to know uh, how how much is the co2 concentration inside uh, inside the greenhouse okay so this is very important uh, uh, instrument that people use inside the uh, if if i'm growing for more precise and uh, more and this is very uh, common equipment apart from that sunshine recorder is there maybe in earlier classes you know how it, it operates basically here the there is the trace of card is inside here you know and the, due to that the your your card burns and based on that you will be able to know what is the total duration of the sunshine you are getting because it why it is important because the duration of sunshine is very important to to because it directly related to you because you uh, it directly related to your photo photosynthesis right so you are able to know what is the how the sunshine hour is changing throughout the year at particular location okay then you know the pyranometer basically here basically you able to measure the you know that when the sunlight is coming between that that is 90 percent of the solar radiation spectrum is between 300 to 28 2800 nanometer that is 97 percent of sun spectrum distribution normally used in watt per meter square okay so how much energy you are getting in that that part so here the uh, here uh, you can say this is the clean part is there and in uh, inside the black part is there and based on the uh, temperature difference because the black part will absorb the so temperature of the black part will be more than the your your transparent part so based on that you will able to uh, able to know what is the total solar radiation you are getting okay at at any location because it varies uh, around the year right so here you will able to know total not part total solar radiation that is get getting in, you can measure outside inside also okay so certainly inside will be different than the outside okay and then rate, net radiometer is there so as the name suggests that basically difference between the that is 
the solar radiation that is coming and that is reflected from the uh, earth surface okay ground surface so that is that difference it gives apart from that a spectro radiometer is there the, like in par uh, basically you measure total total uh, uh, between 400 to 700 total uh, 400 nanometer to 700 total you can say the radiation you are getting in that range okay but in uh, you don't know in which range which part of I mean in red how much it is uh, we are getting so basically it is splits the incoming radiation into individual wavelength and here you can you can see the unit watt per meter square per nanometer means the per unit of a wavelength so this is very important spectro suppose that you are using uh, sednet you are doing the sednet uh, sednet study or different type of mulch you are doing so in sednet you are interested to know suppose that sednet structure is there so you are interested to know which part of light means the in par which part of light is getting how much okay so from here you will able to know what is the uh, uh, the uh, that which part of the spectrum you are getting how much energy so this is very important instruments to do the research study okay and not research for commercial cultivation also if you are going for more specific like the you, if you use the artificial light red light you are using in that case you are interested to know how much the reading it is giving okay so by this you will able to know in a particular wavelength how much energy you are getting or number wavelength both the both the value it gives okay and leaf ray index you know that is very important that the it quantifies the amount of leaf material in a canopy by definition it is a one sided leaf per unit you know in economy so manually manually you can calculate the leaf ray index because it is directly related to your photoactive radiation the light means the how much is the total canopy area okay and this is very important and we can correlate with your microclimate also what is the microclimate uh, how much uh, so, so based on your how much light you are getting so it is very interesting and normally manually you can also use and the, for that the different instruments leaf Area meter is there by that, by that we can able to measure at various stages of growth of the crop and um, various st stages of growth of crop how leaf area index is changing suppose that in mulch how much leaf area index is there without mulch how much is there in open field suppose that you are growing tomato inside how much so you can correlate with your uh, microclimate condition open field and inside so this is very interesting instruments for your uh, research or maybe in monitoring the crop performance inside the or in open field also right and soil thermometer know that the because already we have discussed many times that the, the soil temperature is one of the vital component right so this is the normal thermometer uh, that is the mercury base and nowadays digital thermometers people are using okay in that also you can like the air temperature you will able to know what is the maximum minimum uh, maximum minimum in in in, in particular time frame if i interested to know because as i told that the by uh, 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 we can calculate the maximum minimum temperature how the temperature is changing uh, during the uh, time we are interested to know so uh, it, it is uh, already we have discussed not only the air temperature soil temperature is also very important okay and apart from that you know this is the pollinator so basically you are using the uh, artificially uh, from outside uh, you know that the uh, in pollination you know all, all about what is the pollination in 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 earlier earlier classes in the in economy or maybe in plant physiology okay so in you know that inside the greenhouse because in open field the bee is there or air velocity is there 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 and where the flower is there in 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 the, in the in the same flower or maybe in different parts so basically artificial uh, um, uh, assist that pollinator is you are using electric pollinator is there so it create the vibration okay so because inside the air velocity is 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 slow already i told so wind speed will slow and the b is not there and nowadays people are developing the such variety which can be cultivated inside so for breeding a lot of breeder scientists are working in the those variety that can be cultivated inside the uh, your greenhouse so pollination is very important so you have to take care so if you're not uh, uh, so you can use the uh, uh, pollinated for that purpose okay and then tensiometer you know that the to know the what is the moisture status of soil okay this is one of the way you can able to measure measure the what is soil water tension based because based on that you'll able to know uh, when to get but not how how much means what is suppose that this is the probe is there and so here the uh, what happens suppose if soil is so it is filled with water okay and so if uh, if if the soil is dry so it will suck the suck the water okay so means the when soil is dry it will suck the water from this probe and the vacuum is created so it will give the vacuum uh, uh, it will give the value basically you know that at the field capacity or wilting point permanent wilting point there is the water potential is 
is there. So by this probe, you are able to know what is the soil water potential uh, of, of the root zone. <coughs> Based on that, you will be able to run your drip or any, in, in, in normally in, in, in greenhouse because that is very important to know when to irrigate and not only when to how much to irrigate. So, okay. so this will give the, at least the what is the soil moisture status of the uh, soil moisture status of your soil. Okay. So this is tensiometer and then the leaf uh, uh, daily light integral DLI meter is, is commonly known. Basically it describes the number of photos. Uh, so basically the Suppose that uh, this is the give the uh, daily light uh, uh, daily light integral describes the number of photo uh, power that is delivered to a specific area over 24 hours. Means the suppose that uh, uh, in in as I told the power sensor is there, but power sensor will give the value at particular time. You are using power sensor in the greenhouse, so, so that will give the uh, num maybe energy form watt per meter square or maybe in form of number of wave. But that will give that particular time. Suppose that we are interested to know what is the daily light integral. Means in the last 24 hours, maybe 10 hours, total light integral. Means the in photo radiation part, how much is the energy you are getting in 400 to 700 nanometer range. So this is more important than your power sensor too. You will be able to know inside the greenhouse, what is the, suppose that during one month, how much uh, in particular day or, because you know that from your, your, your flower at different stage of, growth of the crop yet as the light temperature is important light is also important okay so by this instrument you will able to know uh, what is the uh, your uh, daily light integral this is all about so basically uh, we have not uh, today we have not discussed because in lecture 7 we have discussed briefly not uh, as i told briefly today we have discussed about the uh, various uh, uh, various uh, 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 com because uh, various uh, materials that is required to uh, construct the low cost medium cost or high cost greenhouse apart from that the you are using different type not for controlling basically if you are interested to know what is the temperature light um, uh, maybe co2 concentration so all the microclimate that is very important to grow the uh, crop suitably uh, and to know how it is varying okay so for that uh, to, to two things today we have discussed i hope uh, you, uh, today you have uh, you have learned uh, something new uh, and, and already uh, um, all my uh, uh, WhatsApp number and email ID is given. If you, I will be very happy to, uh, if you have any query, to resolve those queries. Thank you for uh, interest. Okay? Thank you.